Hey, this is Bill Pesco Salido, and today I am coming to you from actually my backyard, if you can't tell. Got the beautiful little waterfall behind us, and I know I'm kind of in the shadows here. Hope you can see me. But uh, I just thought it was such a nice day out here in Dallas that I would, you know, I'd shoot a video from outside instead of inside in my dreary office. So here we are outside, and today's video, actually, the other day I posted on my fan page. I just threw out a question basically to anyone and everyone on my fan page saying, hey, I'm going to do this video. I'm going to answer your questions. So, you know, start asking your questions in the comment thread and I'll pick one of the questions and I'll answer it for you. So today's video is in response to that and I'm actually answering uh, Renee Rushton's question. So Renee, I hope you're watching this because this is for you. So Renee asked, uh, how do you size up a prospect who wants to join your business? I mean, how do you qualify that prospect? And it's a great question because I think a lot of people, when when you're when you're prospecting or when you're closing someone or just in general when you're when you're recruiting someone into your business, uh, a lot of people, if you're the recruiter, not the recruitee, you feel that you need to just sell, 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 sell the person. You need to convince them that you know this is the right fit, and I look at it a little bit differently. Um, I, in fact, qualify the people who I'm uh, proposing to work with before. And there's a few questions here, and I could, I'm going to go way deeper in this into actually another video, maybe even right after this, on on qualifying and, and setting the tone and the posture for the prospect. But some qualifying questions that I use, three specific qualifying questions I use that work very well for me, um, they're, well, they're as follows. Uh, the first question I'll ask is, how soon are you looking to start a new business? Real simple. How soon are you looking to start a new business? Next question. Um, how much are you able to invest right now in that business? Again, how much are you able to invest right now in that business? And finally, uh, and let, this is assuming, that, let's say, a $500 buy-in. And, and whatever the buy-in for your company is, just fill in the blank. Um, I'm going to use a $500 buy-in. So the question is, um, if, if you made a $500 purchase right now, how would you make that, with cash or with credit card? Now, I'm asking these questions because I want to get a sense of uh, how committed the person is. I want to get a feel for their sense of urgency. And I want to know, are they even able to invest in a business right now? Right? Because I don't want to waste a lot of time if they're just kicking tires or if they have no money. So these three questions are really allowing me to size them up, qualify them, and that's going to help me gauge how I handle this prospect. Um, how, how much time, how much effort, how much intensity do I put into then trying to get them onto my team, recruiting them into my team. So I hope these um, qualifying questions that I use helped you. Uh, Renee, I hope you found this useful. And for all of you watching right now, uh, do me a favor. If you liked this video, if you found it helpful, give it a like, give it a share. Uh, whatever your social media addiction is, tweet it, like it, you know, link, LinkedIn it, whatever. And um, I hope you liked it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.